Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. This is a channel of love, light, and spiritual insight um, through oracle and tarot messages. So please do not waste your energy in the comment section, leaving any negative comments regarding black magic or dark magic in general, because uh, this is definitely not that. All right, all right. So I'm here to bring you guys an oracle message um, for today. How I do my readings is I usually start off with some oracle cards and then later on incorporate some tarot cards into it. Um, please keep in mind that it is general, so it may or may not resonate with you, and that's totally fine. You may find yourself resonating with parts of the story and then other parts are just kind of foreign to you and that's okay. The energy can be pertaining to you or anyone um, surrounding you as well. So keep that in mind. Now, if you are resonating with this and you would like a personal reading or an extension um, to this reading, just reach out to me. My information is in the description box below. Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can definitely do so via Cash App. Um, and that's going to be Cash Sign Pure Black Magic. Okay? Um... Yeah, so let's get into your reading. And now already just some pre-messages I was picking up on um, the need to take action. The need and the, t the quickness to take action as well. So I'm not exactly sure um, what that's pertaining to. You would know a little bit better than me. But I feel like someone um, needs to take action. They need to move. They need to go. They need to go with the quickness. Um, it's definitely time to go. It's time to move forward. Um, it's time to make a decision. Yeah, the need for action. So we'll see if this message um, kind of is an extension of that or if that's just a separate message. But I'm definitely feeling the energy of needing to move with the quickness, needing to act on something. So let's see. All right. Spirit, give me three cards for the collective. Three energy cards for the collective today. Also, go ahead and just like this video for me. Um, if it resonates with you, go ahead and subscribe, share it with your friends family members all right so we got one card flipping out and it is door to romance it's in the reverse unless you guys see this door to romance but in the reverse next card we have is the temple path and then next card we have is appreciation Hmm. Now at the bottom of the deck we have victory. So it's obvious that you guys are winning at something, victorious at something, um, or you will be pretty soon. Temple path, I feel like you're following your calling. Or there's a need to follow your calling that could be where that um that take action time to go is coming from appreciation i kind of feel like an opportunity is um is calling you guys and you definitely need to take it that is daughter romance in reverse Coming in a couple of different things. Um, let's go ahead and pull some other cards just to get a good idea about it. Card for Daughter Romance in reverse. 
It could be that, um, hmm, I don't know if you guys are going through like a separation or a breakup here. Um, I'm picking up on kind of sort of that you might feel either kind of down and out about the situation or you might need some type of like closure um, or clarity as to what happened. Um, but I'm feeling like spirit is telling you, to, you that whatever the relationship or partnership was, it was meant to end in order for you to follow your true path, tr follow your, um, your true calling. So we have the sacred fool. Sacred fool. And that is clarifying daughter romance in reverse. Sacred fool is all about, um, new beginnings taking a leap of faith kind of starting over exactly what it is it's starting over um sacred fool is just equivalent to the fool card and tarot and you know that's card number zero so it's it's starting over so this is definitely daughter romance could definitely be the end into a relationship or a situation ship um and starting over new uh and finding yourself finding your calling finally finding your purpose elsewhere all right clarifying the temple path we have inner trust okay now hmm. i feel like you definitely need to uh trust your intuition on this follow your intuition regarding the temple path you need to trust that whatever has happened is for your your greatest good yeah and then um clarifying appreciation you have what you want wants you hmm. i definitely feel like you need to be just a little bit more appreciative you may not see it now um but i feel like you will see it soon like you'll appreciate having to go through this process having to go through this journey whether it's a breakup or a separation whatever you're leaving um in regards to the time to go and needing to take action and move forward um, it's leading you to something better. And then at the bottom, you have listening for truth. Okay. So yeah, I definitely, um, feel like whatever the separation is, it's kind of forcing you in a good way to do some inner work, um, to really find yourself, to really find what makes you happy. Um, Let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards on this. Spit this over a little bit so you guys can see. What you want wants you. Hmm. All right, Spirit, give me a card for Daughter Romance in Reverse. What is this Daughter Romance in Reverse? I also feel like um, this could be saying that, you know, if you are single, and kind of like weren't wondering, you know, when are you going to meet somebody? When are you going to be in a relationship? This is Spirit's way of letting you know that, you know, that door is closed for a reason. You're single for a reason. You aren't able to, you know, maintain a relationship for a reason. You need to be appreciative of this phase in your life, this journey in your life. 
um, because it's calling for you to follow your 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 temple path. You need to trust yourself and trust in spirit that this is just not not the right timing for something, and that applies to a breakup too. I mean, um, it could be it's just not the right timing for you, for both of you guys, or what have you. Um, but yeah, I'm picking that message up too. So, uh, for door to romance in reverse, we have the Queen of Swords. For Temple Path, we have King of Pentacles. Hmm. For Appreciation, we have Seven of Swords. Uh, yeah. I feel like you might have uh, cut off a connection here. Cut off our romantic connection. But I feel like you cutting off that com connection is going to lead you to so much ab abundance. Um, I don't know. Sometimes we're in relationships or situations where it's, you know, we we want the relationship. We love the person, but we also have on kind of like rose colored glasses. Um, and we can be in this relationship and things are just not working out for us, you know, in other areas of our life, our finances and everything else, our dreams, our goals. And as soon as we cut that connection, that's when our blessings start coming in. As soon as we learn that lesson and let go of that connection that was just only there to teach us something in the first place, that's when our blessings will come in. That's when we kind of find ourselves. We learn lessons. Um, and I feel like you're going to you're going to figure that out sooner or later and you're going to be appreciative um cuz with this seven of swords energy i feel like there was definitely some type of deceit or something something that just wasn't for your greatest good going on in this relationship that you may not have been fully aware of but you will become aware of it at some point all right sacred fool we have three of cups in our trust, we have Ace of Cups. And what you want wants you, we have Knight of Swords. All right. So with Sacred Fool, again, that's about starting over. Um, from scratch, new beginnings. I feel like this is going to bring you great joy with the Three of Cups. Um, the Three of Cups is about celebration um it could be about reconciling as well maybe you leaving this romantic gesture you know behind brings you closer to some friends and family you may have cut off or weren't able to continue a relationship with because of this person um or just cutting yourself free from this situation is just going to bring you great joy for sure With the Ace of Cups and the Inner Trust, um, again, I feel like you just really need to trust yourself, whether you have doubts or not, that you made the right decision. I feel like the Ace of Cups is just, it's emotional fulfillment. So I feel like you'll be fulfilled within yourself. You actually don't need anyone else to fulfill you. And you might've been feeling like you needed this person, you needed this situation. Um, but this is just letting you know, you have everything you need to move forward and to do for yourself regarding this and then with the knight of swords with the what you want wants you i feel like this is what you want like charging towards you um or you needing to go you know you needing to take charge and take action and it's time to go for what you really want in life okay yeah at the bottom of the deck we have the five of swords here um so that's kind of like a person who is deceitful it's kind of matching the seven of swords energy a person who will win at all cost um and i definitely feel like you separating yourself from this type of energy from this type of cutting energy at the king of swords trying to pop out too yeah it could have been um like a controlling situation Someone who was very controlling. 
could have been the same sign as you i'm getting like heavy air energy libra gemini aquarius um but i definitely see the decision you made to cut this person out so let's go back around spirit give me another card for daughter romance in reverse and the queen of swords okay so page of pentacles yeah so the page of pentacles is about um starting anew um it's like a fresh beginning um starting a new creative project just kind of having that that eye um to be creative and move forward learning new lessons i feel like if you cut someone out in the past um, or recently you are optimistic about your future now you're feeling more optimistic about you know going on this self-reflection journey going on your temple path really doing what you want to do um you're at the beginning stages of that all right so clarifying this king of pentacles temple path we have the page of wands Okay, so there could be a message coming in regarding your temple path. And then you have the moon card, clarifying appreciation and seven of swords. Yeah, I feel like whatever this, you know, romantic situation that was ended or, you know, situationship that was ended. With the moon card clarifying the seven of swords, the moon card just let me know there was a lot of secrets, a lot of things you didn't know possibly about this person. Um, and again, you're going to be very appreciative that this did not work out, whether you can see that right now or not. So with the uh, sacred fool and the three of cups, we have the emperor. So the emperor is all about taking action. It's all about being in control. It's all about authority, about being a leader. Um, so with the sacred fool and the three of cups, the emperor, I feel like you made the decision to kind of like take your power back to start over. Um, and I feel like you're going to be rewarded for that greatly. Now for inner trust and ace of cups, we have the will of fortune, right? So all you need to do is trust yourself, trust yourself because the will is definitely spinning in your favor. It's going to bring you emotional uh, fulfillment or just joy fulfillment all the way around. Um, karma is definitely on your side with the Wheel of Fortune, but it's requiring you to trust yourself. So I feel like some of you guys might be contemplating like going back to this person um, or going back to this situation, but it's not in your best interest to do so. So if you were looking for confirmation regarding that, then this is definitely it. Um, and then you have clarifying the Knight of Swords, you have the Three of Pentacles, um, also with the, what you want, wants you. Now, the Three of Pentacles is about working together. It's about collaboration. Um, I feel like this is an opportunity coming in for you guys. I feel like part of your good karma of letting go of this situation that wasn't really for you is an opportunity this could be a job opportunity for some reason i'm getting um i'm getting you guys being offered like a job at a state at a town in a different city or something of that sort and it's something that you need to jump on and you need to take the opportunity because it's something that's not going to come around you know again or something that doesn't come around too often now at the bottom you have the nine of swords and i feel like this is um this is previous energy for you. I feel like you being in, in this relationship was, you know, leaving you to feel like you're in this nine of sword energy, kind of like down and out, um, crying, depressed, not really knowing what to do. But I feel like you're, you're gearing towards the end of that type of energy. And this opportunity is definitely coming in for you. Now with, um, with whatever relationship this was it could have been an earth sign as well um you could have made the choice to cut out an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn this person could be a little bit younger than you or um younger acting a bit immature hmm with this page of wands 
someone i feel like you could have had like friends or family members someone could have been trying to warn you or tell you about this relationship about this situation about this person um telling you that you need to move forward you need to leave them alone but you may have not been too receptive of that at first um so you have the death card now coming in clarifying the door of romance uh in reverse so yeah so the death card is about endings it's about you know ending something that's also about something else beginning as well but with the door of romance to reverse and the death card you definitely cut something out with this queen of swords here as well so yeah i'm feeling like you cut out an earth sign it could be any sign but you ended something something ended you cut it out for whatever reason so let's see and then you have the king of swords here with the um with the temple path and king of pentacles and page of wands hmm let's see I feel like with this King of Swords, I feel like this is you standing your ground. I could feel like this person has, um, will also try to like get you back or kind of like whisper a little sweet nothings in your ear, kind of like send you messages. Um, but it's lies. It's all lies. I feel like this is you stand, um, holding your stance. All right, let's get another one for appreciation. Oh, so we got the star card. So that's really, really good energy. Um, so yeah, the star card is like the universe giving back to you. Um, this is wish fulfillment. This is you obtaining your dreams and your goals. This is you. Um, being a star, you could be um, an Aquarius or have heavy Aquarius in your chart, but it's clarifying appreciation, the Seven of Swords and the Moon card. So yeah, I feel like this deceitful energy, it was some things going on behind your back with this person that you could have had a hunch about. Um, and I feel like actually spirit kind of saved you. I feel like you get out in the nick of time or hopefully after seeing this message if it resonates you're gonna get out in the nick of time um and you're gonna end up on top of this star card right here all right so clarifying sacred fool we have the ten of swords and the ten of swords is with the three of cups and the emperor so yeah the ten of swords um it's about defeat but it's about being at the end of defeat like you have taken the last straw that is it with the sacred fool i feel like again it's just amplifying the fact that you're gonna um start over anew and taking control of your life taking control of your happiness being able to kind of like be yourself again with inner trust we have uh the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles with the ace of cups and the will of fortune so yeah you need to trust yourself um that becoming leaving the situation or becoming single because the inner trust is single um i'm sorry the nine of pentacles is single energy um you need to trust that it was the best decision and i feel like with this card you m might not feel the best about it right now you could kind of be in a you know, in the between stages of contemplating if you did the right thing or not. But I'm heavily feeling that you did. Um, at the bottom of the deck with this, you have the Six of Swords, which is about movement, moving forward, moving out of, you know, dark times into better times. So this, you may, it may not feel like it right now, but this is definitely going to lead you to something greater. All right. Um, let's get one more shuffle for what you want once you... you want once you so you have the four of wands all right and the four of wands um is about a union it's about a coming together it could be a relationship or a partnership or a marriage um or just a relationship with yourself honestly um just some type of like grouping 
together with someone else or other people in general um, that is ideal. It is a positive connection. It is a supportive connection. Um, it is an equal give and take type of connection. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like as far as this opportunity, I feel like this is a work opportunity coming in. Um, and it's just going to be the perfect fit. And I feel like if you have ended a situation with someone, um, this opportunity has either already come in for you or is coming in with the quickness and you need to be in, you know, the right mind state to recognize it when it gets here and to accept it. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the page of cups here. Um, so with this energy, I feel like, yeah, I feel like you have been drained in this situation. It looks like this person, all this person ever did was take, take, take. Um, but now it's time for you to take your power back and to give that back to yourself for sure. You got the page of cups and then you got the four of cups, which is you just kind of, um, isolating yourself for the most part, emotionally, physically, mentally being able to sit with yourself and reflect on the situation and move forward and then right after that you have the sun card which is the happiest um card in the deck so you might not feel like it right now um but it's definitely for the betterment of yourself now with this death card it could be a scorpio as well that you could have let go of let's get some spiritual advice from the wisdom oracle deck for you guys all right higher power okay so you get higher power you have orphaned and then you have a leg up yeah so i feel like yeah a higher power i feel like you leaving this situation is definitely going to lead you towards your higher power um, with the simple path card we have here. And I also feel like a higher power is kind of in control of what's going on, which is probably why you, you might not be understanding exactly why things have happened the way they are. Um, you could be feeling down and out with this orphaned card, but I feel like it's the way you're perceiving the situation. Um, you feel like you're missing this person or you might not want to be single. You might not want to be lonely. Um, however, you may look at it. But really, you leaving this situation is giving you a leg up. Like, again, I'm heavily getting energy like that you didn't know about something that was going on secretive behind your back. Or maybe you did, but you leaving this situation is going to give you a leg up. Um, it's going to have this, this opportunity to come in for you, and you're going to end up on top with this star card. At the bottom of the deck, we have to the C, number seven. Um, and this, again, is about movement, movement forward. Um, so you are, yeah, you guys are traveling. You guys are leaving. I don't know if there was a breakup and you just decided to like move out of town. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely time to go. If this has not happened for you yet and you kind of resonate with this energy, you're looking for an answer. It's definitely time to go. So go ahead and like this video, um, comment, share it as well. If you feel like it resonates with you, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.